So what are our options to build FSC reports in BIS? Before we jump into that, as a background, when we speak of Oracle BI apps, we are referring to the set of analytic modules available from Oracle that are integrated with Oracle BI EE or Oracle BI Enterprise Edition as the reporting platform. There are many modules that are available with, from Oracle. Each of them comes with preceded content with a variety of traditional analytic reports intended to meet functional needs for customers in various areas. In this case, we are primarily concerned with financial analytics because financial statements are generated from the financial analytics tables. So I will now review three uh, options that are currently available without the KPI FSG reporting uh, product and talk through what they do and how, how they work and what some of the limitations are. The first option is a sample that is actually available in BIS in its out-of-the-box deployment. Each one of your rows in a balance sheet, for example, is a metric that is defined in the Oracle BIE metadata. So when the report is built, each of these metrics is first brought in to the report as a column, and then the report is pivoted to, to convert these columns into rows of data and format it from there. But this technique actually requires an OBIE developer and an administrator to be involved every time you need to change any one of these items. And there are also some limitations on how and what columns you can show when you use this kind of technique. You cannot, for example, combine this technique with doing budget versus actual reporting and variance reporting, etc. The second option that I want to discuss is the financial reporting uh, with Hyperion S base that is available with Oracle BIE and the 11G integration that's available now. This option actually performs very well and is very flexible in terms of reporting, defining reporting calculations and hierarchies within the S base queue. But it is not available out of the box with financial analytics, and the custom work is needed to design, build, and load the cube from financial analytics tables and then build the reports from there on. A third option that is available is the use of some features in Oracle BI 11G called selection steps and custom groups. This method is also extremely flexible and will allow you to construct almost any kind of uh, financial statement report. But these reports are extremely hard to tune, and it requires some fairly complex report building skills in, in Oracle BI. So to summarize, um, Although there are options available in Oracle BI to build FSG reports, they have certain limitations that we have now tried to overcome with our KPI offering. So the KPI FSG reporting and financial analytics offering is intended to allow customers to migrate existing reporting de report definitions from EBS into financial analytics. So and that will allow us to then take advantage of all the integration that comes with Oracle BI Financial Analytics and the performance gains that a data warehouse architecture provides. So what do you get when you install the KPI offering? First of all, you get a data model that is specifically designed to support this type of reporting. It is conformed to the BI apps dimensions and fact tables, and it is extremely easy to enhance using aggregates because the model follows all the traditional best practices of warehouse design. You get Informatica ETL mappings to migrate FSG metadata into this new data model. We support both R11 and R12 instances of UBS. We provide template reports that allow you to view the FSG report definitions, and I'll show you what that means during the demo. And we also provide some sample reports to demonstrate the different options that are available to build FSG reports using this data model and subject area. So let me take two minutes, uh, uh, a minute here, to summarize the various options we've discussed and how they compare to the KPI solution we are discussing today. So some of the criteria that customers uh, try to evaluate an FSG solution by 
and some of the challenges that some of the, the existing options uh, pose, we have tried to overcome each and every one of them. None of the existing options, for example, allow you to migrate definitions from EBS as they are. So the KPI offering is actually the only one that meets all of the criteria that are laid out. <clears throat> 